Hello and welcome to the 87 Legends here at Michigan. Legacy Michigan this time. We uh, just did a race here in the Gen 4, which was at Modern Michigan, unless I am mistaken. This time we're going old school, or even older school, I guess, since the Gen 4 is old too. <laughs> going further back in time and doing some 87 racing. Not sure how this is going to go for me. I definitely don't have as much of a handle on these cars as I used to. But I know it's going to be important to uh, ease off into the corners and everything. And uh, we're going to have to get a good lap on lap number one here. As well. For qualifying. Because the tires wear off so quickly. We lose so much speed so quickly, so... We'll see what happens. I feel like I overdrove that. I wanted to get onto the seam to straddle it, but I don't think I uh, did that quite right. I think I overdrove entry a little bit. I feel like this is not going to be a good lap at all. Alright, we'll take that, I guess. Got down closer to where I wanted to be that time, but who knows? This thing always feels slow when you're driving around because it just doesn't like the turn. So maybe that'll be okay. But you'll see here, second lap's not going to be worth anything. Got session optimal up there right now, which is just my session best. And uh, we're already two tenths down, even though I drove it just the exact same pretty much. So. We're going to have to run with our 42.6. Not many people have qualified yet. But of the people that have, we are P2. We are going to do a pit in right now. You have the brake bias back, as I do anticipate using some brake bias during the race. So i got to be careful on entry. That looks like it uh, went pretty well. Are more people going to qualify? Okay, there we go. There was another one. Only six people on the board right now, and we've finished both our laps, which is interesting. Uh, we had enough people signed up that uh, it did split, so it's not like we've got no one signing up or a really small race or anything. This is actually a 2.9 strength of field, which is pretty good for the Legends, or at least what I'm used to. Why is it... Oh yeah, I didn't finish my <laughs> second lap, because there's no point. So we'll do uh, ready to race, so no one's waiting on us. Mike's in here. He'll get P2 from us just by a very small amount. So I guess I hit my lap all right. It's looking like we're up there. Moving back a little bit, but we're not way off. Should be solid enough, I think. Hopefully everybody readies up and finishes their laps so we can get going. Some issues in qualifying. A couple guys. Probably just uh, trying to push as hard as they can, maybe bouncing off the wall because of how tight this car gets. Seems like something that would happen. But we're just, uh, I'm going to try to, you know, drag a little brake on entry. I've got the brake bias back below 50%. Hopefully get some rotation there. And we're going to play the long run. And hopefully we'll get some long run. Get some green laps. Lots of room out here, so you would hope it would stay pretty green, but... We did just get wrecked at Michigan in the Gen 4 by someone blasting me from behind, so hopefully that does not repeat for me or for anybody else. Only about 24 seconds. It looks like we're just going to have to wait the rest of the time. Not sure what the holdup is. What you doing, guys? It's making us wait. Gee whiz. Alright. Oh well. I'm patient. I'm very patient. Look at me. Look at me being patient. Wow. I'm doing a great job being patient. Alright. It's time to race. That's the end so, of P4 will be our starting spot. I'm happy with that. We are the number four car. We'll try to get uh, top ten. I'd be happy with that. I think I can do 
better than that. Top five would be a very, uh, very solid finish. I don't really expect a finish in the top five, however, so I'm predicting between like a fifth and a tenth, maybe. But of course, gonna get the most I can get. I just, I don't feel too comfortable in these cars anymore. Once they updated uh, the, the handling char characteristics, I never really picked up on it as well as I did on uh, how it used to be, with the, you know, blowing the tire partway through the race. Kind of like forgot how to drive this thing, or you know, don't know how to drive it anymore. Session last lap. How many sets we got? Two sets of tires. So we will have to be very good to those. I like it though. Could set up some very interesting strategy. We will have to pit. So that's important to note. We'll plan on coming in about lap 33. I think is the plan. Could be a fun one. As long as everybody holds it together. Including me. I've got to hold it together too. Green flag pit stop. Do we take two tires? That's still a thing in this car, right? I don't know. Maybe not. If we have to... Hmm. Do we take two tires? That's a good question. You have two additional I guess we'll decide later. Have a good ride. Temp is 78. Depending on how this thing is feeling late run. If, if this thing's getting loose late run, then I'm definitely not taking two tires. So I guess that's how I'll uh, call it for now. Just say, you know, we'll see how the car is handling later. I'm waiting for people to go. I'm like a second gear start. Catch the six car. So P4, we'll have a good view of the leader. Are there cautions? By the way, nice lap, Greg. Yep, there's caution. Okay, they got it for him. I was gonna type Let's it if no one else did. Out. Exactly. Sounds a little too optimistic. But, uh, looks like he was planning on wrecking. I was trying to bring a uh, good pep talk. Of course there's going to be caution. Alright. We're going to try to get single file pretty quick yeah, so that way we can start look. running a line to save tires and uh, hopefully settle in. Hopefully no one's being too crazy off the start. Oh my lord. Why is that guy almost hitting me? Oh, it's Mike. <laughs> Looks like he was about to come up and get me. I don't know. Maybe I turned down. Good jump on the row behind us, that's for sure. Car inside. Clear. Easing it around. All is well. No hurry. Alright. The next car's the leader. The next car's the leader. My frame's dying. Okay. We're still in good shape here. For that not to happen. You gotta be kidding me. Bump the wall and get a two? Come on. I thought they were wrecking. Usually when you get it, are you kidding me? That means they're wrecking each other. Easy does it. I'm feeling good. Easing on entry. Should be good to the right front doing that. Hopefully we don't get run into from behind. I just had flashbacks entering turn three at Michigan. Too big of a run to ignore here, I think. Outside. 
stay low. There is a car on the high side. E3. Keep low. Clear outside if you want it. All right. Get around him, and I uh, didn't really use too much tire to do it. I think he kind of backed off, which is good. Getting kind of a pull to the left on the straightaway. That's kind of weird. why they're staying up high necessarily. I mean I know we want the draft. I'm so used to just naturally like moving down the track for the shortest way around, but they're kinda of, like staying up high. P3. And I don't feel like we've had to hurt the tires at all. Using the brakes to get some rotation. Basically just holding the wheel straight while I let the brakes pull us to the left. To a lesser extent, trying to do that on exit with the throttle as well. Trying to keep the steering wheel straight as I can. Very much enjoy that we're still green. So let's have a completely caution free race. That'd be fantastic. Never mind. Not going to happen. Pit Road is closed right now. Uh, well, we have to come take uh, fuel, I think. I think we can make it now. Uh, maybe not. 7.8 gallons. Not quite. It's close, though. I think I will stay out. Maybe. Line up single file behind car zero two. We're See, under caution. Three point two eight gallons. It's definitely too early early for tires, I think. Did we come get fuel? Pace cars miles away. I think I might just say it's too early to come in. Pit road's open. It's open. Seven point seven gallons. Oh. They both come in ahead of me. I'll come in and get fuel only. That was a late decision for the six. Huh. Let me do that. 
<laughs> that was fun, but didn't make. <laughs> Whoop. Just pulling off those left sides, right? What's that? Just pulling off those left side tires. You're good. Oh yeah, that was totally planned. I, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sur I'm I'm surprised he didn't get a any sort of black flag for that. I guess uh, commitment I line. Think that's the only track I can think of where that can happen. <laughs> yeah, commitment line's a little farther back, I guess, isn't it? I'm sorry, you cut out. I didn't hear a word of that. Oh my bad. Hopefully my connection's not bad. I was just saying the commitment line's a little farther back here, I guess, isn't it? Somewhere. No, it's not your connection. I, I, th I think it's just the microphone quality. Oh, shoot. My bad. Full course yellow. Oh, it's no, right. you don't have to apologize. No, I feel bad. <laughs> no, I was just letting you go. No, because I would want somebody to tell me. I have to have people tell me when I get a new headset. That's the slap. I'm like, oh, thank you. What are the caution? Come on. Put your jibber jabber. <laughs> Benjamin hates us. He doesn't want us to talk under caution. Quit your jibber jabber. Could be a song. Quit your jibber jabber. I'll shut up. All right. So. Jibber jibber jabber. Already going uh, one to green. That's cool. What the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry, guys. One left to green. We're going green next time. Bye. You have a little bit of sugar tonight, Jim? <laughs> so, we are gonna get started. Going back green, I guess, I don't think anybody came in. No one that I saw anyway, maybe further back. Just kind of looking at the guy head going into the grass. <laughs> and not behind me, to be fair. Didn't want to make sure he wasn't uh, getting loose and losing control in the grass spinning up in front of us. But I don't think anyone came in. It's just too early, I would say. I don't think you can make it on fuel even if you had filled it up. Otherwise, I might have come in. One. Yeah, I don't think filling it up would have mattered. So, instead, we will get back green again here. This time, single file. Okay, sorry. About to go green, stay focused. Pretty far back from the pace car. He might be planning to go early, then we might have to watch out for that. Yep, alright. I was ready for it, though. We'll get a nice jump for the from the guys behind us, as a result. Lift off big here. Still got to protect those tires. Maybe I overdid it, though, because they got pretty far ahead. <laughs> oh, well. Hard to tell when you're first getting up to speed. But still uh, taking it easy. Still lots of race to go. They're going a little bit harder all of a sudden. I don't know. I don't think I'm going much softer. I feel like I'm doing the same thing I was doing before. I feel like they might just be going a little harder. I don't really want to do that. I want to kind of keep going the pace I was going. I don't think much has changed. I still want to... I'm just riding here, Mike. If you want by, just let me know. I don't think he can hear chat, so you might want to be aware he doesn't know what you're saying. 
I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Just so there's not a situation where he's trying to let him buy or something. Sound him go low and lift enough. Benjamin, I'm gonna give you that inside down here in three. I could definitely see a situation where he's like, hey, I'm gonna lift off for you here, go low, but he doesn't hear him and so he lifts off right in front of him and then a big crash. So. That's why I wanted to t remind him, like, hey, he can't hear you. Because guess who's first to the crime scene whenever they crash into each other? P3. That's me. So. Being helpful, but also being selfish. Serving my own desi desires here of not being in another wreck at Michigan today. getting a lot of rotation. I'm starting to wonder if it's going to be the right rear that's uh, causing us issues by the end of this thing. That lap time was 43.6 up a little bit. I'm not doing anything different, just trying to be consistent, but we are catching up a little bit. Probably kind of just stacked on each other there. The one's being patient. I appreciate him for that. He's uh, just riding behind me. It's kind of what I'm hoping to do. Got a huge gap between fourth and fifth. I hadn't even realized that. That was kind of a bad corner for me. Get some bump drafts. I don't know how much I enjoy that, but at least he's not. Uh, at least he's being patient in terms of not trying to get around us or side, fight side by side. I just know these cars can be a little bit weird with bump drafting, but he seems like he's been real gentle with it. He clearly knows what he's doing, being the uh, number one. So not too concerned about it. If he does want to go around, I understand. I'm losing a little bit of time ahead. Was Still just being patient. Seven point five gallons. So what is our plan now that uh, we had the one caution? Probably pretty similar still. We were going to come in lap 33. Maybe we'll come in... 35. Sound about right, maybe? See what the people around us do as well. It's almost got the wall up there, it looked like. Got that really close. Please don't let me over this corner. A little bit sideways, easy now. I think it might be the guy behind me getting the uh, arrow loose.
Nah, I just gotta run over, so why not? Uh -oh. Well, now it's time to come pit. Take four, since. Good job looking ahead there, buddy. Yellow. It's too bad. I felt like we were doing really good things with the tires. I was just starting to get something going. Plus, we had that big gap. Us in the top four, we had that big gap. Well, we're going to want to catch the pace car, of course, since we are probably going to all be pitting. Pretty sure you ran me over. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number zero, two. It's too bad for the 20. Sounds like he got the treatment I got in the Gen 4 running over. I need to go flip the switch. My hand was still on the wheel. Pace car middle of the back stretch. I'm gonna fill it full so that we get. Uh, I don't know. Actually, we're getting a lot of rotation. Maybe. Uh, maybe we do just do as much as we need. Let the uh, auto fuel do its thing. Wait a minute. Where is auto fuel? Is that not a thing anymore? Did they take it away? I guess never mind. I should really pay attention to the change notes or whatever. The update notes. Release notes? That's the word. Apparently they have gotten rid of the auto fuel. We have auto tires. <laughs> Lead cars pitting. Pit lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. Alright, everybody coming in. We can make it on fuel to the end now. It's just not going to count me down to my pits, I guess. Thank you, spotter. Good thing I was paying attention. 92.88, so I am, uh... Well, I was going to say glad I'm not filling it up. But auto fuel's not a thing anymore, so it was on default. Added all the way. Or was it? I don't know, man. I guess auto fuel still, fuel still is there? Only have one time oh, smokes. Line up Are we line. slow on the pit exit? We should have just enough fuel to get us to the end. Okay, so auto fuel did kick in. So why is there no option to turn off auto fuel anymore? <laughs> I'm confused. Catch up, six car. <laughs> So we actually have been on the right rear. So I'm glad I took four tires for sure. It's someone that stayed out, it looks like. So we're going to have to be careful about that. I'm not really interested in wearing my tires under yellow. So I'm going to really ease around these corners. It's are open. I just hope that the 19 doesn't spin up his tires and crash in front of us or anything. That would be bad. One to go. Next time by. Okay, Colton. Alright, share hours. There we go. 288. Yeah, 92 is on both left sides. That's interesting. Very interesting. Indeed. 9188. Staying. So I think uh, they did a better job of evening them out. I don't know if that's necessarily better or not in this case. It's first on two. I don't think he pitted. I didn't pit. Didn't pit. Right. He pit on lap eight. I see. So he needs to save a set of tires. He looks like he's down low. Maybe gonna let guys go around his outside. About to go. 
be a very uh, nice thing to do because he's going to be way off base, I believe. Can't see. The pace car is in. Can't see it all. Okay, there we go. I was really trying. I couldn't see him at all, though. Every everywhere I went, I just could barely see him through the windshields of the other cars. Should fly right around him here, I think. The next car's the leader. Yeah, not anymore. He's not. Little Reese's. He's got a little bit of damage too. He's doing what he has to. Doesn't really have much of a choice if he has to save a set of tires since he took one earlier. Keep low. Backing third. Keep hustling. Should get around him here. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Hold on. For some reason. Clear. Tried to hold on, I guess. Not gonna happen though with uh, how old his tires are. So we'll get around. I want to catch up to the back of these guys. Still a long way to go in this race for sure. The next car's the leader. Outside. Go low. Go really low. trying too hard uh, to get around Mike there, but it was off the bottom line, and I was kind of just rolling down there. Clear. The next car's the leader. So we'll be P2 for now. Still kind of just trying to get in line, though. Not really too concerned with where we are. Checking that fuel, just to be sure. And more cautions. Alright, well then. Yeah, I didn't expect you to check up like that. Catch up, six, car. Making it easy around the corners under caution. But still got to try to catch that pace car in case, uh, you know, that Reese's guy wants to pit, maybe. You never know. Want to give him a fair chance at getting in there in a reasonable amount of time. You never know. Someone's got damage out there, too, so it's just courteous to catch the pace car. Looks like we should have no trouble doing so. Unfortunate, I was really hoping this would be a green race. We've had a, a handful of cautions, though, but not the worst. We've had some runs, at least. But we are still uh, not even halfway there.
These cautions have been pretty quick, though, for the most part. Or at least it feels that way. Hey, Colton, you got a mic? Yeah, what's up? I'm gonna flip the switch, so just don't... Could you back up a little bit? Yeah, sure. Car 20, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Letter 20, car by. Catch the pace car. No idea what he's talking about is flipping a switch. Okay, that did not work. Car. That's now two times you've been in the grass. <laughs> There we go, I did it there. <laughs> I was able to reach. Alright, he figured out whatever was going on there. Flip a switch, I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> he probably said, so I just wasn't paying attention. Mike, I know, must be very confused, because he doesn't have... <laughs> he can't hear voice chat, and he's just watching this guy drift off into the grass. Alright, yeah, see, we're already two to green, heading to one to green. These have been pretty quick uh, cautions, at least. That's cool. It's fine, you got loads. Yeah, we got loads of fuel now. Caution and such. Six giving him off track, giving himself off tracks like it's a uh, road race. Look at this caution number three. This is caution number three. I think this is the third caution. I don't remember. Yes, sir. You have Discord. <laughs> yes. Yep. We're gonna give a yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Terrible at typing and uh, driving at the same time. I don't know why he wants to know. He's got a proposition for me or something. <laughs> Putting the fix in for this race. Something. There's something devious going on. What's that they said to Clint Boyer at Richmond? And spin gate, like, oh, I bet your uh, arm's getting itchy. <laughs> it's sure so annoying, that, like, wheeler right at the start. Alright, so we'll have the best view in the house of the restart this time, starting B2. About to go green. Hopefully, Stay that fucking. should theoretically give us a good jump. Gotta be ready, he's clearly gonna jump very early again, unless he's. Pulling a fast one on us. Take a high, Jimmy. But no, just uh, about what you would expect. Go, Jimmy. And we're under green again. You can take me on the high side, then. Go ahead. Still gonna be good to the tires. Still a long way to go. These races are long. I think the amount of draft we would get eight tenths away is negligible, so we'll go ahead and just take the shortest way around. Still got pretty fresh tires on this thing. Hopefully they'll do us well. I 
they were close enough, draft might matter. Follow him. Okay, Colton, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Come on, dude, if you're gonna run that way, just go around. Hope they don't crash more. Sounds like they're make, getting on each other's nerves. In some way or another. Alright. And about two tenths a lap on them, even without really trying. Probably just riding. Oh man, not my internet again. I have my Q bar up there. Earlier it was real bad at the end of my Gen 4 race, thankfully after I got off the track, but I don't want that to get bad again while I'm on track. Thankfully it looks like it's okay, it's just barely there. I got kind of loose. I want to minimize how much of that I'm doing. You've just done a forty-three point six. So I'm gonna be uh, a little easier on throttle, maybe. We did learn that the right rear is gonna be the one that's falling off most, so. Just gonna have to think about that a little bit. No gap like there was last no. run. At least not yet. Flashed. Don't like that. Why is my technology always playing with me, man? It's always messing with me. Internet connection. My screen's been flashing lately. That's concerning. The frame's always dropping. Like, I feel like it's against me here. Right behind. Why am I so loose? Crazy how loose this thing's getting in the center of the corner. Feels unnatural. So far so good. Tires are feeling fine. We've got good track position, even without really worrying about it all too much. Doing what we need to do, I think. The cat's trying to open the closet door to get food. Oh my gosh, there's like a string hanging down from the closet door. Is he actually going to figure out how to open that door right now, live, in front of a live studio audience? Hey you over there, stop distracting me, you just made me miss the corner. Car inside. Still there. Watch my freaking cat try to open the closet door, I missed the corner, now I'm losing spots. He 
keep high. Like to find a spot here. Keep high. Your last lap time was at forty-four point four. Clear inside. It's amazing you look away for one second, what can happen? There's two spots because I looked away from the screen. Fine though. Like I said, I wasn't too worried about track position. I wasn't even really trying. I kind of just ended up there. Would have been nice to keep it. It certainly doesn't hurt, but... Oh, speaking of hurt, don't hit the wall. That hurts, too. It's getting a little bit closer to go time. Just over 20 laps to go. Oh, okay. Well, time to take our last set of tires. Why well, you gotta be wrecking back there, guys? I just wanna be able to race with the full tires. So we lose two spots, learn, uh, watching Evolution in progress as the cat throws opposable thumbs and opens the closet door. So that was interesting, but fortunately, we're back and forth. Not a big deal, we'll come get our last set of tires. I think you definitely have to take them now. Because, uh, no green-white checkers in this series. It's not like you're going to need uh, a set for when we start getting green white checkers or something. It's time to come in now. As far as I'm concerned, we'll see how the others feel about it. It is the last set. Watch your speed limit in the pits. The lead is pitting now. You've got loads of fuel. Alright. Fuel off. I think that's good. Don't need extra turn in this thing, the way it's driving. Tires ready to go. Pit box in three, two, one. Right here. Spotter being terrible at telling me when the pit stall's coming up. I don't know why that's happening. 9188. Alright. I think I had 9288 last time. I don't think two tires would be the call. I don't see anyone going for it, but I don't think it would be the call anyway. Punch it. Maybe that guy did. D7 there. First to four. So that's a rough stop. I think he lost. Uh, I think he lost one, two, two tires, and then had some people. Benjamin had to take two. Oh, I just had a long stop, too. Catch up, six, car. Yeah, I had a 23 second pit stop the first one, and then that one was a 19.9. Hmm. It's right. Well, you'd rather have it good late than at the beginning. I wonder how much variability there is in these pit stops, just by how fast the pit crew does it. I've never really looked into that. Because if that's true, he really did have a 19 versus a, uh, whatever he said, 22, 23. That's a pretty big sh difference. Might be out of power, I don't know. Get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. Alright, I'm gonna go this, a little farther this time. A little faster this time. Where the 8's trying to be. Oh well. 
Um, let me try to make some passes, maybe. I'm not sure what we want. You have guys. I saw your You have guys on oh, no sure. tires, I think. My third, but uh, it's very difficult, so I can't try. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Back in seventh. No, seventh with a couple spots we can definitely get. Gonna have to just be careful. There could be some dangerous situations coming up. I was trying to say it as nice as possible. Twenty to go. Oh, contact. Good luck. That traffic just now getting up there to the inside lane. Get ready. Going green. Took him a while. Can't see it all. Car is off. Time to do your job. Shoot, I thought we were going. Green, green, green. That could have been bad. I was a little worried that guy was going to drift up into us for good. Car outside. That was a very weird restart, man. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Yeah, I appreciate those behind that didn't run us over. That could have been bad. Okay, 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 they reckon, they reckon, oh my goodness. Oh boy, I almost got hooked. I don't think it's 22 now. Well, we're getting a couple spots from that. I don't know why anybody would have done that right there. Is that uh, no tire? I a lot earlier. I just didn't want to hit you, of course. No tire, two tire, taking someone out by trying to fight. Two seconds off the pace. I don't think people have much of a choice. What are you talking about? The difference between new tires and old tires is two seconds. Wait, dead ass, what the heck happened? Because all I know is that I heard three wide and I got moved. when the yellow flag came out. I'm very lucky. I almost got what the hit in the corner, man. the quarter panel. I just felt like it was a little early to take the last set of tires. That's why I stayed out, but whatever. Okay. It's a great idea. I'm not trying to insult you. It just puts you in a weird position when you're two seconds slower than the fast guys and it's go time. But yeah, I was a little jealous of your decision. Just I wasn't willing to risk it. Yeah, I wouldn't call 20 to go to go time, but... Well, that might be why I'm number one and you're number 22. Oh, we've got the I rating. Uh, flex. Or you're going to be in a hurt, world of hurt. Well, now I have to restart in the back. That's awesome. Although I will say, I'm not the one that lost it, so I don't know who y'all are complaining about. I just said, I don't think you knew we were three wide. That's all I knew you were there, but somebody obviously couldn't hold it. I genuinely don't know what happened, so I'm, like you came down from my view, but I don't have, have no a, idea. a viewpoint on yeah, this yet. I'll check incidents later, but i got to be better about shutting my mouth anyway, so even if I did have a thought on this, I probably shouldn't say anything. Let them talk about it. we go, we'll both learn our lesson. I hope. Every time I race with Jeremy, he's been so wholesome. So Every to, time, he's always I like my line, and it looked like the twenty-two. Take the bright side. Decently, he's good during Swift. <laughs> and I guess it, it's, uh, I just clipped your nose. A very there. nice bright side of optimism. Corner, I didn't know you were gonna split it. Amongst you know? a sea of very high volatility and negativity so, uh, in these races. Every opening they see. So. That's what she said. To be fair, 22 was on old tires, and he was going to be slow enough anyway, so, I mean, it just happens, I guess. 
but I'm kind of annoyed because that's, there's just no need for that. Like right there, he's got clips, running the running my line. Didn't know you're gonna get split three, but it's cool. What happens when half a field or? Mm. So we're uh, running out of laps. With every caution, we get less. This thing could end before you know it. So I'm going to try to get some track position for sure. He was leaving most of the race. Where he couldn't get there without a little bit of patience. Probably a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. With everything you're saying, maybe you should have lowered your aggressiveness a little bit instead of trying to bash other people. I said I'm not saying names, I'm just saying a thing that happens. I'm not talking about this race specifically. Honestly, any wreck you're in, whether it's your fault or not, you should ask yourself, what could I have done to avoid that shit? That's a good point. That's part of why yeah, I watch the incidents. When I was going to look at the replay. To learn from my own mistakes, but also see what happens to others. I guess I got to restart 16. We'll get both guys from this run. All right, we got to get ready, though. I was thinking about green, all that. I agree for some reason. Sounds like a talk with my wife. Dang, it's so hard to see them here. That's a shame, and that's a lot of time we just lost from him having a good jump. Might benefit us still to just be nice to the tires though, even if those guys are ready to go. We still do have like 15 laps. Could benefit us not overdriving it with how fast these tires fall off. Do you want to be in their draft though, that's for sure. So I'm happy to be behind this five at least. Caught him a lot faster than I expected to. Must be taking it easy as well. See, let me let me go. Outside. Still there. Oh, he's on all tires. He last pit lap twenty two. I have no idea. Explains why he was off pace in the corner. P3 then. I'm gonna let you go, Lee. We got a bit of a head start, but. I got you. If we can take care of the tires, we might still be okay. Thank you. Five, you're on old tires, right? You're good, buddy. I'm just killing you behind your back. My race labs is showing uh, the five last pit on lap 22. In case the five couldn't hear him, answer that for him. All right, how's this gonna shake out? We're getting close to about ten to go. I wish I still had that five's draft, but he didn't. He had old tires, so. See what we can get. I do feel like I'm closing in just a little bit. Oh my gosh. 
Single Can't we keep it green? Well, hey, if uh, if I save the tires better than those Thank two guys, this could work for us. Hmm. Should get back to green. I don't think there's going to be any issue there. And people on Irish nowadays want to wreck all the time. I'm very confused. Nowadays. It's the same way most of the new fans are too. They don't want to have a long green flag run. They want wrecks so that there's cautions all the time. And then they want to be pissed off because there's cautions all the time. <laughs> yeah, for real. So is there anybody that still has tires left that didn't damage? Pete Road is now open. Of course, yellow. It's are open. Ben Forrester? Oh, yeah, maybe. That five might have tires. What about the five? Probably only got like two left. Two green flag laps left anyway to use them. Yeah, that's true. Cars on the lead lap, even if you have tires, I only got to go. I hope we get the ability to use scuff tires in the future. That would open up a lot of really interesting strategy situations. Yeah, if you could... Actually, it's been before the Sark December thing had it, like 10 years ago. Oh my god, no. 13 years ago. I think the 5 is taking tires now. Got the lucky dog. Hmm. Let them pass on the oh, the 5 has tires, sounds like. Oh boy. Yeah, sometimes that's still like the break it, uh, the deal breaker. Letter 22 carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Kind of wish we got one more set because it's kind of like luck of the draw when the last caution falls and the last person to kick tires wins. Yeah. That's kind of just how it works though. That's kind of racing sometimes. Gotta get uh, a little bit of luck. Your strategy falls the right way. But he's right, I mean... He's kind of luck-based. Could really work out for that five. He's got a long way to go forward, though, and we really didn't do all yeah, that many laps. You've done the math. What's the fall-off on five-lap old tires? Mm, only a couple miles an hour through the corner. It ain't much. There's too many cars on the track for him, fresh tires would win, except for there's too many cars. Agreed. Too much fire research also separate us too much for that. I'm not going to count them out yet, though. You never know. Okay, I'm just going to run my own race, and if he line. comes flying up at light speed, I won't uh, get in his way, I guess. Hopefully we'll be able to see the leader a little bit better this time than we did from P4. We're going to want to get as good a jump as possible. It's pretty much a sprint, I think, to the end here at this point. Alright, what's it going to be? Eight to go? Let's see what we can do. Cannot see him. He's going. Alright. 
green, green, green. Not the best jump, but serviceable, I guess. He moved to the right, it looked like, and I couldn't tell if he was just turning the wheel to the right or if he actually was going. So a little bit of like a millisecond hesitation there because of that. One trying to break the draft, maybe, out of the corner. We're trying to latch on to the two. Mike. We're only going to have a couple laps and maybe even just one or two before a caution would end it. So we have to be aware of that. This lap of the session, that makes sense. First time I'm really pushing it this whole time. We are catching just a little bit. We're going to need all these laps to be green, though, I think, to get it done. Or at least get a chance at it. corner I overdrove entry. I blew that. It was not good at all. Just getting it I didn't get on the brakes enough. I was going for it. Down on the bottom. Oh it almost got tightened into the wall. I don't know. They're going to have to fight, I think, for me to have a chance. Might have gone a little bit too hard, a little bit too soon. Good corner there, though. It's all the way back. We need it. For the love of God, keep this thing green. Car outside. Still there. Oh boy. Car outside. Too wide. Clear outside. Outside. You're back in second. Outside is clear. Outside. Keep low. The next uh. car's the leader. At the right rear a little bit. That's okay. We keep it going. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Mike's coming down here. We'll get his draft. Outside. Overdrive it. Ugh. Ah. Jim, what are you doing? You kidding me? 
Race cars out. Line up single. Hell of a job, Mike. Great race up here, guys. Race car is out. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, we're get that last lap. I think it was spread out. That was my bad. I couldn't turn down by the time it's outside. That was my fault. No, you could have kept it down, but you just decided to come up. Well, he about wrecked both him and I a couple laps earlier. About to cut my nose off, had to back up for him. Yeah, my toe's way out. Sorry, guys. Maybe I was driving over my head. Alright, type this out. Maybe I was driving over my head. It's open. Colton, I love the uh, hard, clean racing, man. Nice racing with you. Yeah, that was great. Way to be oh. patient, dude. Yeah, that was great. Lots of fun. It was uh, quite a few cautions, but we had some great racing in between. That was horrible, Jim. Horrible. And I know I can trust him to be clean, but that was that was nice, man. That was good stuff. You lost all respect. That was good. Uh, good battle. Had some good racing up here. Stinks the caution. Uh... Not all respect. Good win, Mike. I told you, I'm sorry. I messed up it's over my head. I don't know what else you want. <laughs> Never mind. No contact was had. <laughs> well, I understand. I'm not saying <laughs> You're okay. well. right. A lot of times when people apologize and stuff, they apologize and apologize and apologize, but they keep doing the same thing. All right. So we'll get P3. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to uh, make, your make another run at it. We had the lead for a second. It was an exciting finish. You talking about like in one race? Because I mean, I don't wreck out of races very, very rarely. Only one ninety-two. So I was too hard on the right front there. But that's all right. I just made mistakes this race. I didn't mean anything profound. I just wasn't wasn't dumb again. All right. I apologize. That's all. So I'm I'm happy with that. P3. I uh, all I was really asking for was maybe like a fifth through tenth, and I definitely uh, was able to get a top five and even on the podium. So I'm happy about that for sure. We had some great racing up front. Some cautions mixed in, but uh, the racing we did have, pretty darn good. Take a look at what some of these cautions looked like. Twenty bouncing off the wall. That's Mike. Me and Mike have raced together a thousand times. Never had anything happen. Stuff happens, man. People mess up. Move on. Nineteen, just struggling to hold it together. God bless. Yeah, uh, ends up back, coming back right. up into traffic, know, Mike. which is unfortunate. Because it grabs a 17. Twenty getting loose. Eleven just running right into him though. Does not lift for him. Doesn't cut him any brakes. He might not have seen it happening. Tough to say. But, yeah, it didn't lift much for him there. Just sends him around. Oh man, that gets him a penalty too, and some damage. That was a bad place to end up wrecked. Why did that guy ask me if I had a Discord? I said, yep, and then nothing. Huh. I guess he just wanted to know if I had a Discord. Ugh. All I use it for is to chat in uh, both Nick Niebens and uh, Gavin's. Griffin2448, their uh, community channels. That's all I really use it for. 13 getting blasted by the 15. That was not necessary at all. Wow. He's just right up behind him. He hit him hard, too.
So we got some blinking. The 11. Gonna run to the back of somebody else. Sends the 12 around. Different situation. But he certainly didn't lift for him there either. So there's another caution. Yellow. Here, that looks like an ill-advised three-wide attempt. So this is one the 22 was off pace. And I, and I almost got caught up in into this one. You know, I can see the six maybe thinking the 22 was going to stay high because he, knew, he knows he's on old tires. He looks like he's leaving a lane down there, and the 22 just keeps coming down. Yeah, that's a tough call. Probably not necessary to make it three wide there. Probably can back off as soon as he sees that the 22 is making it tight. But honestly, I mean, the 8 could have been lower. 22 could have been higher. The 6 could have decided not to make it three wide. There's a lot of ways this could have been prevented, I think. I think that's just an unfortunate product of a dangerous situation being brought about by uh, someone not being able to take tires or choosing not to. And not to mention, a little bit of net code to throw into that as the cherry on top. I mean, off it too, it looks like a little net code. Yeah, I just I remembered it happened, and uh, I just want to be like, hey, sorry about for the slight contact. So there's me narrowly avoiding the spinning car. Car coming to the inside. You can see I had my wheel turned to the left quite a bit. And I knew he was coming down at me. Thanks, good race. Yeah, great race with Mike. And then uh, a couple more getting caught up in this one. Oh no, oh no, they're flying in. How many people ended up damaged from this? Six trying to hold on to it, he's out of control though. And uh, eight sideways up here. Trying to get down to the grass, but seven tags him. And we got people dodging through the grass. The war zone out here. Some people able to snake their way through. 13 flat foot in it. <laughs> Maybe the caution came out late. I don't know. Oh, man, that stinks for the 21. He might have harmlessly slid through the grass had he not smacked his nose on there. Eight seen. Hit by the 19. There was a bit of a check up mid corner there, I think. I think the 19 had fresher tires at this point. Didn't he? Because wasn't he a guy that pit much later or something? I don't know. Hard to remember what was happening at this exact point in the race, but regardless, he catches them real quick mid corner. And they uh, come together. You got your peanut butter in my chocolate. What's that commercial? Something like that? Reese's? Got more rear ending. Everybody's running into everybody. This one, it's the 17. Looks like he's sliding up into the 7's line. Just the slightest bit of contact, too, and then 17's gonna meet the inside wall. That's pretty heavy damage as well. I don't even, I don't even think we had a caution for that one, though. Earnhardt hits the outside wall. Mm, a six maybe just crowds him a little bit too much. I usually use this line. You know, just use these lines as the lanes. You know, a lot of times I'm giving too much room. But I feel like that's kind of a necessity with online racing. Because, you know, netcode can happen. And, you know, these aren't nobody here is a professional. So you never know if they're going to hold their line perfectly. And, uh... 
they come together. He gave him a, a car width, but sometimes you just gotta give a little bit more, I think. Seven's a good driver. He had a bit of a rough one this time, though. Just crowded him a bit too much and then turned up into the seven. And then a couple more people getting caught up into it. Oof! The 14 flying in as well. Gotta aim for it. He had a lot of time to slow down for that one. Oh uh, yeah, the six kind of doesn't lock it down. He definitely could have slowed down much earlier, though. Yeah. When you know the caution's gonna come out, you just gotta back it down. Be as safe as possible. Oh, and then you gotta stay with your your brakes locked up too, because there's still people coming. The 15 was shooting for a gap that didn't really exist, though. To be fair, I don't think he was gonna make it even if he did hold his brakes. There was so much time for these guys to not get involved in that wreck, though. <laughs> gotta be honest. Oh my lord, they're still finding ways to get in this wreck. This wreck lasted for an hour. And uh, that's it. That's the end of the race. 15's going to celebrate his 16th place finish, I guess. Doing some burnouts. <laughs> and uh, we can feel pretty good about our P3. So that was a 0x for us. I'm happy with that for sure. Top 3 0x. Um, got a few spots we may not have earned because of Rex. But who knows? You never know how it's going to shake out. I'm going to go look back at... Uh, the contact with Mike. It wasn't big, but I felt like I was maybe pushing a little bit out of the corner. Yeah. Just a little bit. Uh, I saw the 0x come up. I don't know if it's because I'm not holding my line down there or what's going on. Looks like it was just hard racing, though. With only a couple laps to spare, so... Too bad I couldn't hold on to it. That was a pretty fun move, going to the inside, right there. But just not quite able to hold on. I go all the way down. Got to make sure I can get above the apron again safely. I see that I'm clear with the one, but don't want to cut in front of him necessarily. Maybe if I did, I get a better run through one and two, and uh, am able to hold on to it better. But you can say, uh, you can do what ifs all day. We still got P3. I'm happy. <laughs> That'll do it. Hope you enjoyed that one. Some downtime in this, uh, in this race with lots of yellows. But uh, hopefully if you weren't feeling it, you skipped through, get to the action. And uh, enjoyed that because I think we had some good racing in there. So appreciate you for watching. I will see you next time. And I hope you have a good one. See ya.